Hi, Tiahi Palayo here, and today I want to talk to you about a negotiating technique I call the war of attrition. I don't like it as a listing agent, but it's a tactic that some buyers will use. I'm not dirtying on flippers, but I've seen flippers do this a lot. A fellow that I know who used to be a U.S. attorney in Hawaii called it sunk cost. What people try to do is get you to get invested in the transaction and once you're invested and time has gone by, they take a run at you on the price or on terms and they try to use the time against you. I call it the war of attrition and it's a very specific tactic and I'll give you an example. We just had a transaction fall out of escrow from a cash buyer. We were listed at $1,750,000. The buyer offered us $1,775,000 cash. See my other video about cash offers. That being said, here's what, what they did. They had 14 days to inspect. They didn't do their inspection until four days before the inspection period was up. One day before the inspection period expired, they came back and asked for an extension of three days. Now we're at 17 days so that they could check on some water leaks and some water damage. And there was none in the house. And, and when you look at it, could you say that there was some water damage? Well, every house has some, but they hung their hat that there was significant water damage at the house. We advise the seller not to give the extension because we're familiar with the technique of war of attrition. The seller chose to give them the time. At the time I advised the seller, I said, here's what's gonna happen. It, it, today is a Thursday. They're gonna have through Sunday. End of business Sunday, they're gonna send over either a price reduction request or a credit request. Well, three days go by, four o'clock Sunday, we get a request for a two hundred and seventy five thousand dollar price reduction now we resold the unit again at full price but here's why that's significant and how it plays into this war of attrition they took 17 days of our time and they were using this time frame that has gone by and the seller's commitment to the deal and the seller's emotional state of wanting to get the sale done to try to lever that against the seller to get a concession. I don't like the tactic. If you, again, you see an LLC involved, that could be a flipper and they could very much come back and use this technique to try to cut a better deal or to substantially reduce the price. I want to share this with you. So you're Akamai on different things that are going on in the market. And if you have any questions that you'd like to chat with me about, feel free to reach out to me in the myriad of ways that you can contact me and we can discuss your unique situation. Thanks so much and you have a great day.